Bruce Wader the second time around. Kaya guys, once again, again and again, in today's video, babalikan natin tong si One Hat. Sagot ka daw ni One Hat. Maayos siya magpautang ng 25,000 pesos, mababa yung interest and payable up to 3 months. So okay ba talaga si One Hat? Kung hindi nyo pakilala si One Hat, then I suggest panoorin nyo muna yung video na to. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna start with a disclaimer because I really don't know how to start the video. Na tawas ta. This video is not sponsored. It's based on my personal experience, and I have history with one hand, guys. So three years ago, si nubuka to si one hand na dante ang laki na ng kinakartas niya. Ina sa Facebook. Ah, nung pinintot ko yung four four thousand five hundred, and I chose fourteen days. Nabigla ako kasi yung matatanggap mo is only three thousand three hundred thirty. Eh, yung babayaran mo after 14 days is 4,500. Para ang laki ng kakaltas, ikakaltas niya, ba? Tapos, hindi naman siya talaga maaasahan kasi nag-offer siya ng 3 months to pay. And then, next naman, ay hindi naman siya nag-offer ng 3 months to pay. Tapos, tinanggal pa siya ni NPC sa Google Play Store because of a number of issues. So, Metro Manila, CNN Philippines, the National Privacy Commission has ordered the immediate takedown of four online loan lending, online lending apps which are now being probed for alleged, unauthorized, and excessive use of borrowers' personal data. Sa so, Google Play Store, I was so confused kung paano ko siya bayaran. Sa dami nang tumatawag sa akin, hindi ko siya nabayaran sa due date. Nagka-penalty ako ng 3% per day. Nag-away pa kami ng collector niya. Pero binayaran ko yon ha? Pero yung walang iyang si One Hand, sinumbunga ko sa, S sa CIC na delinquent late daw ako magbayad. Kaya nagkaroon siya ng negative effect sa aking credit score. Wow, kasalanan ko pa. Kung ikaw ay nagsasabi na okay na okay na okay na okay si One Hand, then hindi mo siya nakilala dati. Naway mo ako sa comment section dati na because sa mga pinagsasabi ko kay One Hand, then tatlo lang yan. It's either you're a bot or binayaran ka to flood my comment section. Two nights ago guys, na-notice ko na spam ng spam sa comment section ng mga supporters ni One Hand. Yung iba pa lang gumawa pa ng account para lang makapag-comment na na. Makagaling si One Hand. Naku, may hashtag pagaling. Or nagbago nga si One Hand, which is what I have learned. Which is good for those na yun lang magtatry kay One Hand. So One Hand, at least, is registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Bumaba nga yung interest niya. Tapos buo mo na raw siya matatanggap. And nag-offer siya ng installments up to 3 months. And that is good. At least nag-improve siya ha. Dami nagsasabi na maasahan daw si One Hand. Okay, fine. But do take note na sakali hindi ka makabayad dito kay One Hand, then meron po siyang daily penalties. Not what we're going to talk about. Anyway, see years after na nabayaran mo yung isang loan na yan, Kung naging delinquent ka, naging late ka, pero binayaran mo, after 3 years, eventually, mawawala na rin yan sa credit report mo at uh, mapapatungan na yan ng mga good records yung ganun. I hope you get the idea. But, here's the sad part. Dahil meron akong ganyang history with one hand, <laughs> siguro block yung number ko. Kaya hindi na ako ma-approve ako dito kay one hand. But that's okay. Then, option says, kung yung malaman ko yung mga loan apps na mas maganda kaysa kay one hand, you can check my other videos. Because yung spotlight natin dito is si One Hand, syempre, papatuloy tayo sa pag-uusap about One Hand. Ginawa ko yung video nito because a number of you ay nag, ano na, um, nag-suggest na gawan ko daw ng bagong video si One Hand kasi 2024 na. So One Hand is an online loan platform that's registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission at nag-re-report din siya sa CIC. I have experience, yes, kapag na-late ka, hindi ka nakabayad kay One Hand, susubukan niya sa CIC, makaka-affect sa future loan applications niyo. So take note, ha, kaya dapat pag-iisipan niyo mabuti bago kaya mag-loan dito kay One Hand. And for some reason, uma-appear din siya sa marketplace, loan marketplace dun sa lista app. Bakit? Ano mong ginagawa ni One Hand doon? Well, it's not really a problem. Anyways, to si One Hand, pwede rin magpahiram ng 25,000 pesos. But don't expect na 25,000 yung mabibigay sa'yo kung first loan mo. Because you have to build a record, good record with One Hand. At depende kay system kung tataas yung credit, history, yung credit limit mo. Or kung pwede ka bang mag-3 months sa kanya. Or baka pang 1 month ka muna. So, depende talaga yan kay system. Depende yan sa information na isasubmit nyo. So, ngayon, si One Hand, ganito po yung mag-apply. So, idadownload nyo sa Google Play Store. And nasa um, App Store din siya. 
at yung pag-apply kay one hand involves the following. Buti naman at hindi na siya masyadong invasive. Kumunti yung mga permissions na hinihingi niya during the application process. Bukan yung kanyang magandang logo. At meron pa siyang parang intro yung with the music na nakakairita. <laughs> Ganun pa rin. Kung ano siya dati, ganun pa rin siya ngayon. Sana palitan nila yung background music. Simula ka sa pagbigay ng phone number. By the way guys, kung sakali magtampo ka dito kay One Hand, pwede mong i-request na ipadelete yung account mo. Provided that, wala kang utaw sa kanila. So kung mag-a-apply ka dito kay One Hand, of course, bibigyan mo yung phone number mo and mag agree ka sa kanyang privacy agreement at sa kanyang service agreement. Then magpapadala po siya ng verification code. Ayun, pricing na mag-apply dito dahil 25,000 pesos daw. As low as 0.06 per day. I've noticed na kung one month yung term ng loan mo, nasa 14 point something, malapit sa 15% yung interest mo. And it becomes smaller kung mahaba yung term. So I think this 0 0.06 per day applies to loan terms na up to 3 months. But if it's shorter than that, yung service fee is 0 0.06 per day daw. The term up to 90 days. Pero again, depending po yung system. If you click mo yung borrow now if you want to proceed. At ito po yung mga hihingi niyang information. Purpose ng loan, education level, residential address, heat address, at contact information. So mga contacts na such as your email, um, work information, payroll period, kailangan ka na sa sweldo. Ayan. Hihingi niya yan. At yung mga references na hihingi niya sa'yo ay tatlo. And magpo-proceed niya sa facial recognition. So, susundin mo lang yung instructions niya. Bawal po yung mga nakasaglases, naka-eyeglasses, dapat walang sombrero, don't, dapat maliwanag. Yung basics like that. And then, ikiklik mo yung verify now. At dun siya, hihingi ng permission na ma-access yung um, camera mo, which later on, pwede mong tanggalin. But, Para makapag-facial verification, syempre i-allow mo siya na ma-access yung uh, to take pictures and video. Kung successful yung pag-capture ng face mo, lalabas yung congratulations. And then, you can click next step after 3 seconds. Yun, hihingi na siya ng mga IDs mo. At yung mga tinatanggap niyang ID is UMID, Passport, SSS, tsaka PRC. Ito po yung mga recommended IDs niya na higher credit daw. Hmm, charot. May other options such as driver's license, a voter's ID, postal, TIR, pag-ibig, PhilHealth, national ID. Pero kung ito yung apat yung binigay mo, mas mataas yung chance na ma-approve ka or higher yung credit limit mo. Ayun, pagkatapos, ay pipicturean mo yung ID mo, bibigay mo yung name, yung information na nasa ID mo bale, and next, yun yung application assessment, which takes less than 5 minutes. Hanggang dun to be reviewed lang ako. <laughs> Kasi ayaw niya sa akin. So that's one of the consequence of paying late or hindi na makabay kay one hand because of course, hindi ka na makakabalik. Ayoko mag-try na magbigay ng bagong number at bagong ID because dati, bago kay one hand, nag-apply ako kay Tala, kay Bill East, kay Digido, pero walang makulit. But then, nung nag-apply ako kay one hand, doon na nagsimula ng dami-dami nang nag-marketing ng mga online loan apps sa akin. I never liked that at all. Marami sa inyong mag-a-agree, especially yung mga dating nag-try kay one hand. Although, pwede mo tanggalin yung permissions mo pagkatapos, yung access niya sa camera, pwede mo tanggalin. But, yun, Kung may utang ka kay One Hand, ma-detect ni system, hindi ka na makakabalik. Yung si One Hand, um, mukhang okay na rin siya, pero para sa akin, hindi naman ako nagtatampo na ayaw niya na sa akin, which is okay because I've had really good lessons learned from that experience. Pero kung meron kang better options than One Hand, huwag na lang si One Hand mga guys. <laughs> pero may ibang options, huwag lang si One Hand kasi malay mo, ba? Pero kung nagbago nga siya, then that's good. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And marami din ako nababasa na try idog daw si One Hand. Yung like, good payer. Tapos bigla na lang nag-re-reject. Huwag naman sanang ganun. Ayoko sa mga apps na ganun, you know. Yung naging experience ko kay One Hand, guys. Let me know if it has been a good experience para sa inyo so far. Let me know kung okay si One Hand sa inyo. And I'm really very sorry. Wala talaga akong super, super positive na masyashare mag i One Hand because I've had a negative, I've experienced negative stuff about, you know, with One Hand and it's something na ayaw kong balikan. Take note lang, it's good to be aware of these things and kung meron kayong suggestion, put it in the comment section below. If anything else or may mga loan apps kayong gustong ipasilip sa akin or if meron man ako nakalimutan, of course, let me know in the comment section. And I will see you on my next vlog. Bye!